Um, just before we light candles, I'd like to share a quick um, drusha that I learned. It's actually two separate ones quickly um, that I learned when I was a senior in high school uh, from two of my rabbis. Um, the first one I learned from Rabbi Jeff Siegelman, um, and it was about uh, the first bracha that we say on Hanukkah. Um, naturally, many of us think of it like lighting Nerot Shabbat, lighting the Shabbos candles, in which we always say, Lahadlik Ner Shel Shabbat, because the candles are an element of the many beautiful elements of Shabbat. Um, on Hanukkah, however, Sephardim have the custom of taking out the shell, and they just say, Lahadlik Ner Hanukkah. I should say we, not that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we say, uh, Lahadlik Ner Hanukkah. Um, and the beautiful message behind it is that when we look at the candles, when we look at their strength and their sparkle, um, we realize that is Chanukah Tayom. That is the actual message of Chanukah. Um, and I think even if that's not our custom to say those words, even if we include the shell, it's a powerful message. Uh, the second uh, lesson I learned um, was from Rabbi Gordon Tucker, uh, who taught me uh, from... A, a beautiful teaching from the Lavouche, who was a 15th to 16th century rabbi in Prague, who looked at the bracha la um, al hanisim, and he said we shouldn't just say bayamim hahem bazman hazeh in their days at this time of the year, but we should say bayamim hahem u bazman hazeh at their time, in their time, and again in our days. Uh, and there are, very, there are many beautiful messages that come from that. Uh, but recently I've been thinking about it, and I've been thinking about the nature of a miracle. And I think a miracle is such that when you're involved in it, you don't notice it's a miracle, or else it wouldn't seem so miraculous. Right? If it's happening in front of your eyes, then you can believe it, and it doesn't seem like such a miracle. Maybe Mordechai, uh, maybe Mordechai too, but maybe Matityahu, right? maybe Matityahu didn't realize it was a miracle going on because he was so involved in it. So later we come and we say, thank you for that miracle. Uh, and I think about how lucky we are in our days with all the privileges we have and all the miracles that happen that maybe we don't appreciate and maybe we need to step back and say, Bay Amim Haham Uvaz Man Hazat. And again, even if it's not our custom to adopt the new words, if we don't feel comfortable following the Lavouche and we love our own tradition, to have the kavana that we are grateful to Hashem, to society, to whatever we want to be grateful to. We're grateful that we've been born into a society that has so many miracles and so many beautiful things happening for us. And we help create miracles for future generations. Uh, and with that, I wish us a happy Hanukkah, a Chag Sameach, and a prayer for more miracles for future de generations. And Midor Lador, let us see the uh, light of the Hanukkah, Hanukkiah, and the menorah, and the miracles that come with it.